I started to do a build video on this quadcopter I'm using for FPV, um, but it's so simple to build that that was kind of dumb. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour, and sorry about the handheld camera shot, but that's the best way I think to just give you a quick tour of what I did um, to build my FPV quadcopter. I like the frame, it's really nice, it's super rigid, um, and it has the integrated uh, PCB for your ESCs, I'll show you that, but um, yeah, basically I decided to use the 8 inch props, the 10 inch props were just giving me fits, um, I'm using a KK board and I think the 10 inch props were just way out of balance and messed up and the KK was not understanding what was going on. But the 8 inch props are pretty well balanced and the quad seems to run smooth. You, you guys have seen my videos from the GoPro and stuff, you, you know, you can see it's all pretty smooth. Um, but okay, here we go. Let's start with the basics of how I put it together. I did use the stock ESCs and stuff, so just stock motors, um, stock ESCs, make sure you put Loctite on those motor bolts there. And then I like to use Velcro for my ESCs, but I did also use some double-sided tape. And one end is kind of fat, so I put two pieces of double-sided tape on one end and then just one piece down there. And everything's wired in that way. And then the ESC then gets wired to the board. I don't know if you can see that there, but so I do that on all four arms. Very simple. Um, I used Loctite on the bottom plate here, but I've been taking the top off on and off, um, so I haven't Loctited the top yet. But you know, some of my wires run down underneath there. I think that's a BC wire, and then one of the speed controllers I ran the wire underneath. Um, just because I wanted my KK board on the flat surface in the middle on the other side there. There's obviously a decimal the wire for my satellite receiver, which is up there. And yeah, BC power wire. Yeah, there's my battery. So the battery just plugs just soldered on right there. And then I used that red liquid electrical tape to cover that and all the ESC wiring and everything. Now I use, I have a 4000 milliamp battery on there now. I'm running three cell setup. Um, seems to be all right. 4000 just about right. I do have a 5000 size battery and it also works great with that. Um, I don't know if the flight time's increased really, but yeah, it, the, the whole thing weighs two pounds and 10 ounces. With the GoPro and this battery, it's so that's not bad. It's still that's still way under the three and a half pound uh, maximum takeoff weight that DJI lists for this. So that's pretty good. Two pounds, ten ounces. Okay, that's what it looks like inside. Uh, there's the receiver and the KK board. All the wires from the ESCs go into that. Uh, there's the battery plugs and the ESC wiring. I just I stuck it right there, and I used liquid electrical tape to cover that. So, uh, there's my Castle BC and. The power cord from the Castle BC goes into the receiver, and then one of the cables from the receiver goes to the aux channel, goes from the gear channel to the aux channel on the KK board. Actually, I have it backwards, so let me show you the right way. So the bottom channel on the KK board is the aux 
channel that you can use to turn on and off self leveling and that is connected across here to the gear channel on the receiver and the power cord from the BEC is connected to the aux one channel on the receiver and that's so I can still have the bind battery port free for binding if I want um, <coughs> and then this is kinda tricky to explain but alright there's one cable going from there to one of the channels on the receiver and then here's a cable plugged into the signal plugs sideways and it goes into the re receiver and it plugs in also sideways in the receiver like that and I did have to switch the order of the wires on one end to make that work so it was kind of complicated see normally the red wire would be in the center and that one would be out on the so I had to switch the pins around to make that work but it really reduces the amount of wiring that I have and you still have a lot of wiring because you need the ESC wires and stuff now I may shorten some of the ESC wires um, instead of coiling them but for now this is fine um, so then the KK board I just installed it on the piece of foam that it comes with it comes in like a piece of foam see that on there it the box that it comes in is made of that stuff and there's a square in there that's perfect size and I used a little bit of welders glue which you can release later if you need to get it apart um, and I just glued it on there. This seems to be fairly vibration free. Now that foam is pretty, it's not mushy, um, it's pretty stout, but this seems to be okay. Now when I had the 10 inch props on here, which were really out of balance, um, the KK board was having a hard time. But with the 8 inch props, it's working great. These are in, better in balance, so it's working good. Here's my FPV setup. That is a KX1 camera from Range Video. Uh, very simple. Just wired it in with, and then I like to put my battery on the camera side. So did that. That's what. That way I can switch cameras and stuff if I want to. You switch cameras more often than you switch video transmitters. So that's my camera and the wire, and then the wire just goes down underneath there over to the video transmitter which is right here this is one of those 2.4 gigahertz um, 200 milliwatt modules from uh, from range video um, and I'm running it without a regulator just on a little battery right now but eventually I probably put a 3.3 volt regulator so this will run a little smoother but it doesn't get hot or anything it's pretty exposed um, if it was getting hot I would just put a heat sink on I'd try that first but it's, it seems to run fine um, then this is a you know I be crazy style uh, clover leaf antenna so just very simple now Alex I'd be crazy said that I should point this down and that's probably because the way the radio waves come out a lot of it's radiated uh, and it's just gonna bounce off of here um, so if I pointed it down you know because my receiver is down below the thing um, it would probably work a little bit better but I need to get some legs before I can do that this thing sits pretty low so I can't turn it that way yet um, I've got my GoPro here and it's just basically hard mounted on there and it doesn't really shake I mean you guys have seen the videos and it looks good so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now I've got some foam and stuff I can try to if I start getting a lot of jello or something but look it's been been looking really good so far